Alright, so this is a continuation of the How to Brew series that I'm doing. Um, and for this session we're going to do a brew with, we're doing a brew with uh, co-host creatures. And uh, we started with Vile Aggregate, and uh, if you watch my previous videos you know what's going on. Um, so we got through all the colorless creatures, all the colorless non-creatures, or sorry, no, not all the colorless. Uh, we we went, got to the second page was being the internet was being dumb so uh, we're gonna continue where we left off here uh, so we got scour from resistance and I don't like it seven drops scroll of the masters um hmm I think it's interesting I kind of like it. If you have a lot of non-creatures, maybe in tempo, it gets better. Let's put it in the tempo section. Tempo, tempo, tempo. Tempo. Maybe it'll be good over there, you know? Playing lots of non-creature spells. Might be pretty cool. Um, we got Serpents and Spike, that is bad. Seven drop. Uh, that is not colorless. Yeah, no, that's gonna be good in the ramp deck, possibly, but not even that. <laughs> we were ramping in the sixes, not the tens, so. No, I'll just put it in. Yeah. Okay, go back. Sigil of Valor. Whenever a creature attacks alone, it gets plus one plus one for each other creature you control. Also, not, not bad. It's pretty good equipment. Um, lots of thopters and stuff. It could make some pretty gnarly things. So, we'll put it in the creatures section. Just non creatures that are decent with everything. Spell Shrivel. I like that card. I think it's good. Um, it's like a cancel, um, but you know, kind of a downside. Pay for thing. But paying for is pretty hard to do most of the game for spells, so I think it's pretty good. It's gonna be great for our ingester deck. Um, let's just put it in the non creature section. I think it's good in everything. It, it is colorless, so you get to trigger um, some things that trigger up color spells like this guy. It's cool. Spider silk net, me. Boring. It's not terrible, but all the staffs are bad. Don't ever play anything like these. Unless you're doing a life gain deck, then maybe. You know, make another video on it. Um. Storm Rider Rig gets plus one plus one. Whatever creature enters, you must touch it to it. Nah. That's not enough. I don't think. Ghost Fire Blades is better. We don't want too many equipment, so. Creatures you control gain plus two plus zero. Oh, Colorless creatures you control gain first strike. It's a cool one. I like the card. Seems interesting. Put it in here. Non creatures. Okay, sort of animist again. Probably not the best because we've got Ghost Fire Blade, which is just better. Too slow. Throwing knife, which is again not as good. Titan's presence. Ah, oh, yeah, we already saw that. Ah, here we go. Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. So, this is pretty darn good. Um, against aggro, it <laughs> would be hilarious. And burn, even better. Um, I mean, you're just going to make a bunch of dudes and then pump out. You just keep making life, which is pretty sweet. Against some decks, so... You know, maybe sideboard. Um, but... Seems strong. 
see here. Touches the void. Oh yeah, this is the one that's like sorcery speed and should be instant speed. It needs to be way better. It is. It costs three. Like I don't know why they didn't make this instant. There's already like the lightning. Uh, whatever it's called, lightning strike card. That was two for three damage and instant speed, and then they made this sorcery. I don't know why they did that. Um, this card's awesome. Maybe not main deck rule, that's good. Exiles it too. Right? Yeah, exiles it. So, he fuels the ingest. Turn against is pretty fun. Um, because instant speed if you didn't catch that. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know how good it is. Maybe a tempo deck. I don't know. Mid rangey. Pretty cool. Just control their guys at instant speed and then uh, block with their guy. Seems fun. It's Pugin. Yeah. Maybe the ramp deck if you really want to pick one. Obviously, he's probably like one of the best things to ramp into ever. So. Uh, which is Nexus, only the worst card ever. Um, no. Well, it's instant. Five star creature. Eh, I don't like it. Warhorn. Probably not the best, but maybe not the best. And that is all of, all of the colorless cards. So that's cool. Okay. So now we got bases for most of the deck. Okay, so now is where we are going to branch off into different decks. So, um, let's make the ingest deck first. Let's see how that turns out. So I'm just going to save it as brewing ingest. Whatever. It's a G. Anyways, um, so tempo or ingest, I guess. Let's see here. All right. So now what we want to do is start getting rid of stuff that's not going to be well. Yeah, we'll just get rid of stuff that's not good in ingest. So, um, all oh, that's going to be good. Non creatures, all that stuff. Yep. Yep. Just stuff. Good aggro. Okay, so this stuff can all go away. Don't think any of that's gonna be great. Yeah. Okay, so maybe the tempo. So maybe it'll be an ingest tempo. Combine those two categories. Okay, so um, we got a lot of cards to narrow down now. So now it just depends, okay, what what color do we want to make? So let's save this again. Let's save it as a blue-red so blue-red black maybe. Gets rid of a lot of our options. Let's just try blue-red first. I don't want to complicate it too much. Because making three colors gives you lots of options, which is not going to be easy to narrow down, so let's just go blue-red for now. Okay. So we can just take out all of the all of the non blue and red stuff.
Alright, so, blue, red, alright. Okay, so, if we decide, you know, uh, blue, red doesn't have enough stuff that actually works on ingest, you know, it might not, I don't know. We've got one here, one here, um, any other XL things? One here. One there. So we probably have enough uh, interest, I think. Okay. Ingesting stuff. This was ingesting stuff. Um, oh, we have exiling here. I wish this exiled, I mean. Oh, look better. Um, and then we've got the ingesting things. I think we only have one, actually. One, one, two. Which Blight Herder might be good enough to just, you know, justify the ingest. Um, but maybe we want to play the black just because we get some sweet ingest stuff in black. We get the uh, the guy that gives minus three minus three, which could be worth it. Hmm. Um. Blue red is a good start though. All right, let's start with this, and uh, if we want to add in black later. We can do that. So, okay. So now we have quite a bit of things to um, narrow down here. So, first step is finding out how many of each um, how many of each mana cost you have, and kind of create a curve based on that. So, let's first make a list over here. So we got. Ones, twos, threes, fours, fours, fives, and sixes. And then just list how many of each there are. Okay, so first of all, we need to go through and figure out what we want. Four of's, one of three of's, etc. So vial aggregate. Um, this is kind of what it's based on. Um, but it is, well, three isn't bad. Let's, let's do four for now. See how good it is. Um, this is another key and jest card, and probably very good with the um, ghost fire blades. So maybe we do three, and maybe we do three of these. They seem good. Um, we got quite a bit of three drops now, which kind of narrows down our choices for the rest of the deck. Um, Let's do four of these if we can afford them. Uh, we'll see. Um, <sighs> Herald of the Kozilek uh, might be out. Doesn't have ingest. Does make everything cost less, which is cool. Cost less, cost less. These don't. That does. This does. Um. The other things do cost less. It combos well into Blight Herder if we can get a um, if we can get that turn three and then turn four Blight Herder. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to exile that many cards by turn four. You'd have to hit them a few times. Mm. I think we need a one drop in this deck. So let's uh, let's open that other one and then we'll see. I think we want that either yeah, I guess the blue one. The blue one will be okay. I want a one drop to start uh, ingesting. So let's go with let's go back to the version over here. Okay, so we want the D one drop that we're just ingesting here. And it might end up we want to, you know, switch over to green just because Buster Pod's so good. Um, but then our ingest theme is kind of less. 
we want to be solid string. Okay, probably four. Don't be just theme. We're going all in. Okay. Got all those. All right. So we've got four of these. I don't know if we're really going to play four. I mean, obviously. But whatever. We're just running for right now. So Herald of Kozilek. Um. I like it. We could put a couple in too. Don't want to have too many cards like this where it's like in multiples. It's not super strong. It's just kind of meh. Um, Sentinel. He's also a good two drop. So uh, let's put in three. Maybe. Yeah. Sure. Another two drop. Two drop. That's good. Let's put in maybe four of those. They ingest. So it's pretty good. Um, Marination Guide is also very good. You know, I'm putting in way too many cards, but uh, I don't think Tide Drifter is great. It's not really what we want to do. Let's take him out. Kieran, Kieran, um, probably one of the only four drops we have. Let's go. So right now we don't have any double red. We just have quite a bit of blue. So let's let's keep it kind of blue. Let's take out the P. I don't like him that much over Thopper, Spy Network, and more over Rogue. So. Let's do uh, three or two, two or three of these. How many artifacts do we have? Oh, well, if we have hanger back blockers, that's pretty good. Let's, let's put in two. And then let's put in three or four of these. Four? Yeah, three. Ghostfire Blades, we're going to put in four. Because why not? They're very good multiples. Uh, let's see, Eagle Man's, we're not going to worry about right now. Here's some Slaughter, maybe a one-off. Um, Sigil of Valor, maybe a couple. Yeah, it's not as good as Ghost Fire Blade, but it could be strong. Um, Molten Nursery, let's see, Colorless Spell. Uh, if it was like Colorless Creature entering instead of a Colorless Spell, then maybe, but I don't think it's that good. I don't like it that much. I'll take it out. Spell Shrivel. I like it. That is pretty strong. Let's put in three. Uh, turn against. Probably too late. But I like it. So maybe. <laughs> That's kind of how you have to approach this. It's like. You know. I like it. So put in the view. But then you kind of figure out. Oh, that's not very good. Later. But uh, let's go with four biters because we're about in jest and he's probably the best in jest guard. He's gonna pump a lot of stuff, so that's good. Um, probably a rye. Maybe a couple of these. That's four or less, and then this can handle some other stuff too. Just go pick up a couple of those. Processor assault. Ah, I wish this was instant. Why is this. This is sorcery. Um, I think it's good enough. Let's put in three. Let's put in... This is like way too many cards. But, um, two of those and two of those. Okay. So now we gotta add them up and see how many we have. Oh, scroll the masters. Um, how many non-creatures do we have? We've got one, two, three, four. Maybe this one end up being tempo. A few counter spells might be good, but I don't think it's gonna be actual tempo. One creature, non creature, one creature, non creature, one creature. One creature. One creature, non creature, one creature, non creature. Uh mm. I wish I could put them in. In. <laughs> One in doubt, put two in. Um, Alright, let's see how many we got now. Probably gonna be way too many. 
Obviously, it's going to be way too many. Okay, so one drops. We got, I think, our only one drop. Oh, wait, we got Ghost Fire Blades, too. We got four Salvage Drones and four Ghost Fire Blades. So we got eight one drops. That's a lot of one drops. Um, probably don't need that many one drops, but Ghost Fire Blade is kind of doesn't count. I mean, you do play it on turn one, but it's good any any time. So two drops we got, and I, I'm only gonna count things that we're actually gonna play on turn two. So that's gonna be uh, Sentinel. That's three seven. Like seven. Those are all things we're not gonna play on turn two. Looks like seven. Threes. We got a lot of threes. So we got four, seven, ten. Um. Oh, you know what? Um, we need to also search for things that exile. So ingest is good, but it might be better just to have things that exile. So let's look for that. Let's look for anything that really exiles. Standard. Let's narrow it down to... Well, we kind of want to look for all of them, so let's look for all of them. Exile. Standard. Go. Might be a lot. Let's see. Let's see how many there are. Alright. That's Exile and Years, so we don't want that. Abzan Charm, that is completely out of our colors, so probably not. Nope. That's not gonna exile. exile. That'd be fun with the uh, um, processors, actually. We should probably put the new graveyard from anywhere exiled instead. So, you know. Oh, no, no, wait. That's only creatures. Uh, I thought it was any card. And it might be better. They fetch and then you get to just use that. But nah. Okay. Um. Exiling stuff that's not. Huh. That's a fun one. Reveal scorch from the top until creature cards revealed. That's dangerous. <laughs> it's really dangerous. Like hit their sea dry now or something, and then you hit another sea dry now, and you're just crying inside. So maybe not. No, Excel is yours. Bad. Any kind of Excel thing here. No. No. That exile, that'll be fun. Nope. No, doesn't exile their spells. Um, just, oh wait, no, I'm just big sign eagle anymore. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Is there anything else that exiles? No, that doesn't work. Hmm. No, no. 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 <laughs> it's a fun card, though. But terrible. <laughs> um.
That would be a fun one with the uh, ingester guy. <laughs> Just play this, excel their guys, and then on your turn ingest them or process them or whatever. Be a fun one. Don't know if there's anything else that's white that would work in that deck though. Is what, is what we want to look for. Charge from graveyard. It's okay. No. No. Perilous Vault. Oh no, you can't, you can't play that. Tricks me. Um, yeah, we really not much. Quarantine Field. There's like O Ring effects that would be funny in a white version of this deck. Um, o Ring effects like uh, that Flash Guy in his Quarantine Field and O Ring, or whatever it's called now, Banishing Light. I didn't even know this card existed. That's cool. Interesting. Cool sideboard. The reality shift is a good one. Oh, I didn't like that card. That was good. Let's put that in here. Exile the card, which gives you ingest. Um, plus can get rid of anything, which is very important. You could have a whole deck around just, you know, exiling their guys with the white things and then ingesting them. Be kind of cool. It's another brew that you could start on. Um, anything else here? Let's see. Blah blah blah. Stasis Snare, there's another one. There's so many of these things. You could just play all of these things and just <laughs> exile everything. Suspension Fields, another one. There's so many. that exiles at all. No. Okay. Okay, so that's everything we've just got the audio shift out of that. Um just get three of those. Good. Okay. And you know what else actually is a colorless creature? Is manifest cards, which I did not um did not put in here, but they could also be good. You kind of got to think outside the box. But, uh, Manifest might not be the best. We'll see. Okay. 
Alright, so let's count again. We got, uh, still got those. Alright, three drops. Four, seven, ten, twelve, sixteen. Way too many. <laughs> sixteen. Okay, sixteen. Obviously, need to get on three drops. Fours, we got. Thopter Spy Network 2. Well, that one. That's 5. And nothing else on turn 4. So just 5. 5 drops. We have pretty much just the. Um, Ingester guy. Blade Herder. Alright. Blade Herder. So that'd be four. Get the four here. Three. Four. Four. Okay. And six drops. I think we have the one. Just the one gruesome slaughter. Okay. And then other. We have things that we're not going to necessarily play on turn. That's going to be... Did I include... I don't think I did. Include Sigil 1, turn 2. Let's include those 2. Okay, so we got Spell Scribbles. That's 3. 4, 5. 6, 7. 8, 9, 10. 11, 12. 13, 14, 14, oh, 17, and 19. <laughs> so, let's total these up and see how many we have to cut. Probably like half of them. Total. Let's see, 17, 23, 28, 32, 33. Um, 43 plus 9 is 52, 52, so we gotta cut, um, let's see, total, our, our goal is probably, let's see, um, we're gonna top out around 3 drops, as you can see, I think 25 lands should be fine, maybe 26, 25 to 26 lands, so that would mean um, 35 to 30, 34 to 35 creatures, or 35 cards. Okay, so we have 52 cards, and we need 34 to 35. So we need to cut quite a bit. All right, so we're gonna go through the list in here. Um, first of all, we have way too many non-creatures, or non, um, you know, cards like that, so this is where it gets tough because you gotta make cuts, lots of cuts. Okay, so, what could we get rid of as far as uh, non-creature kind of spells that are, well, let's just take out the Citadel of Mars, I don't think, I mean, we got the four Ghost Fire Blades, I don't think we need those two, so let's take out those, those are going to be two drops, because that, that's two, Spell Shrivels, Horribly Awry, Processor Assault, Adverse Conditions, and Brutal Explosion, I don't think this is great, let's take that out. That's two of those. And then let's take out that two. I just don't think it's gonna be that good. Oh. You already got pump. We have enough pump. Okay, there we go. So we took out two. Can we take out just two? I don't remember. Let's see. Took out. So we have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, total, 13, 14, 15, I think we took out two other ones also. Okay, so we just took out four plus two, so six, so we get down to 46 cards. All right, so 10, 10 more it looks like, 10, 10 or so. It's not too bad. Save really quick. It looks like we have a decent curve going on. Looks like we could cut some ones and threes. That's probably what we're gonna do. Cuts ones and threes. So I don't think we want to cut the ghost fire blades. I think those are definitely gonna be good. Um, let's put in only two of these. Um, they're not gonna be great in the game, so um, probably just don't want that many of them. So we take out two. That's gonna bring it down to forty-four. Alright, now we have way too many 3-drops, so let's go ahead and cut some 3s. Ignition guide is very good. Um, hmm. So now we have to decide, okay, do we want the ingest theme more than the um, just amount of guys theme? have enough stuff that ingests that we don't need to play that. I think it's good enough to play it. Well, we do have these. These are going to be very good at ingesting, and they're already flying. Makes them hard to block. So yeah, I think we could take out these. Maybe just like a few turns earlier. You know, there's three of them, so we'll take out three. That's 13. Go down to 41 cards. 6, 13, 26, 31, 35, 36, 46, 51. How did, we, how did I miscount? 13, 26, 31, 35, 36, 41, 51. This should be 51. I wonder, I was thinking, like, wow, <laughs> we're almost there. Okay, so we have to cut quite a bit more. Um, okay, so I'll, we still have way too many other cards and three drops. So let's, um, let's cut the worst of the uh, other cards here. I like turn against, but maybe it's not the best. It doesn't exile anything. Let's take him out. So that'll uh, that'll bring it down to thirteen forty nine. Okay. And let's see here. I think we're still need to take out a few non-creatures. Um, I like this thing just because it's gonna put things in exile and it's gonna be a good tempo card. I like that too, just because we don't have very many other ingesters or uh, processors, whatever. So. Seems decent. Let's take out one though. I don't want to use up too many of the exiled cards. So let's go to well, take down 48. Okay. Um, horribly awry. Okay. Let's see. We gotta choose between a few counter spells here. I'm gonna cost four or less. It exiles it. This also exiles it. They're both pretty good. But um, maybe one sideboard, one's just mainboard. I think I like this one better. Just because it hits more stuff. 
Um, but this one's pretty good. I'm trying to think of what we would want to counter that was higher than four. Probably not too much stuff. Um, I mean, there's some pretty big stuff like uh, a Tarka that might get played that we'd want this for. This is slightly faster, and probably good against most decks. So let's uh, let's take this and put it in the sideboard here. So I will take that. It's gonna lag on me. No, uh, Okay, it's frozen now. Well, oh, good thing I see it just so. Alright, well, I'm gonna cut it right there. Uh, we're gonna finish building the deck in the next episode. Um, so I will see you later.